All right, hey guys, Michael Scott Earl is here. Um, hi, I'm. Uh, we're a couple days away from the end of the Kickstarter, so I just want to make a quick YouTube video and uh, talk a little bit about uh, the book so far and kind of the series in general. But I'll start uh, with the series in general. So a lot of times I get asked, "Yeah, you know, how'd you come up with the idea?" Um, and uh, I think it goes back to like 2000, early 2017. Uh, I was uh, playing some video games on a, I mean, I don't think we had Discord back then. I forget, it was like TeamSpeak or something. I was on, I was borrowing a friend's TeamSpeak server and the friend I uh, played uh, uh, Guild Wars 2 with. And I wasn't really playing with him and uh, played with him and his wife. I wasn't really playing any games with them anymore. I was playing with some other friends, but I was, you know, borrowing their server. <clears throat> and he jumps to the channel. And he's like, oh, guys, I got this like awesome game. Wife and I have been playing. You're going to love it. It's so amazing. And then she jumps to the challenge. She's like, you're going to love this game. Like, you got to play it. And I'm like, well, I forget what we were playing, like Borderlands 2 or something. Like, we were always playing Borderlands. And uh, I said, um, all right, well, what's the game? I'm like, oh, it's called Ark Survival. And it's like this, like, it's kind of like Minecraft a little bit or Terraria, but it's 3D. And I was like, nope, not going to do it. And they're like, well, but you get to tame dinosaurs. And I was like, tame dinosaurs? And they're like, and you get to ride them. And I was like, all right, I'm in. It was like instantaneous. Like, fuck yeah, I'm riding dinosaurs. That sounds like freaking dream, huh? So download the game. Uh, I start playing it. And I'm playing with a couple of buddies of mine um, from, from college and, uh, and my two old Guild Wars 2 friends. And then one of my author friends. Uh, you guys might know Jay Cipriano was playing with him, and um, you know we're playing the game. It's you know if you guys have played Ark Survival, it's an awesome game, but there's not really much of a story. It's just pretty much you know tame dinosaurs, ride them, build forts and stuff, which is cool. It was freaking awesome, right? It was a very dangerous feeling world that was very stressful, especially like right at the beginning of the game when you have like nothing. They like, put you together, and everything is scary. You know, like you see a Velociraptor, and like oh shit, like this is I'm gonna get fucked up by this raptor. You know, so it's just super fun. Um, and, uh, you know, we're playing it, and I was just thinking, like, man, like, this is such a cool setting, but, like, it needs – there's no women involved. There's no romance. There's no story. There's no nothing, right? And I should I should do a book, right? And then, you know, a couple other people I, I ran the idea by, they said, um, you know, no one wants to read books about dinosaurs. And uh, I said, well, yeah, but what about Jurassic Park? I'm like, well, that's one book they wanted to read about dinosaurs. But like, you know, here's here's eight other books on Amazon that have all flopped that are dinosaurs. And I went and read the reviews on these other eight books. And I'm sure you guys, if you're into dinosaurs, you've actually seen them on Amazon. But, you know, the, the reviews for them were all very much, I love dinosaurs. This book sucks. You know, with all those other books that it tanked. And I was like, well, if I do this right, then it should do good. Because it seems like people you know, like dinosaurs. Cause like for me, it's like building forts is freaking awesome. You know, dinosaurs and Brian dinosaurs and tame dinosaurs. That's awesome. And then hot alien women. That's freaking awesome too. Right. So, um, so I just started writing the book. Um, you know, I actually worked with another author, Brian King to do the first book. Um, cause I was really busy doing star justice. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we did the book and it came out and, you know, obviously it was super popular and you guys really loved it. Um, so yeah, so I think the you know that's kind of how it came to be, and um, you know it's definitely my best-selling series by by a long shot. And you know we're doing the YouTube videos for the audiobook. Um, you know my Patreon has you know a bunch of not safe work art that I do, and then we do these Kickstarters um, to help fund the print runs of the book. Um, and the Kickstarters also help fund like me writing other books throughout the year. Um, you know, because what if I go directly to sell on the site, sometimes they make, you know, enough money to be worth it, but you know, pretty much the whole Tamer stuff is, um, kind of funding, you know, most of my career now with the Kickstarters. Hopefully in the next couple of months, the printing will be done and delivered to, uh, the fulfillment center. And I'll be able to just go to Orlando and sign those and get them out. So I should be able to do a second Kickstarter this year. And the idea is to do two or three a year, um, with the, you kind of, you know, ending the series around book 20 ish if all things go according to plan. Um, and as you do that, there's going to be three story arcs. Um, so with book eight, we're kind of entering, we're entering the second story arc, um, which you guys will kind of notice the shift uh, with this, uh, with this book. Uh, I don't want to do any spoilers or anything about what's in the book, but you know, it's pretty freaking awesome so far. The, the editors loving it and the proofreaders that have read it so far think it's incredible. Um, so I think you guys should be super happy about it. Uh, but it's it's definitely you'll, you'll notice the kind of second arc ramping up and kind of what this next part of the series is going to be about, um, you know, when you start reading it. So 
you know, more danger and more victor coming into his own as the king of dinosaur land and, and more you know using everyone's powers strategically to kind of you know conquer other tribes and take more territory um so yeah that's kind of what i've got planned for it um if you haven't pledged yet it's a good time to pledge because we've only got a couple days left and you want to make sure that we all get a chance to get those cool badges and um, you know you can get print copies of the books with my signature on them, which aren't available anywhere else. So cool. If you guys have any questions about anything, you can hit me up on the Kickstarter. You can message me on Facebook. You can email me. Um, it's all available on my website. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in this Facebook. Uh, so I guess this is going to be a YouTube video, but thanks so much for tuning in the video. And uh, I'll probably do another live event at the end of the Kickstarter to kind of update everyone on how the, the, uh, the thing went. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye.